Bristol is fast becoming the city to beat when it comes to cheerleading. Two teams from Bristol Metropolitan Academy, which were only formed in October, blazed a trail at the national finals in Birmingham last weekend. This morning, we sent Robin Markwell to meet the Hurricanes, who've come back national champions. Just take a look at this. Five, six, five, six seven, eight, eight, one, eight, three, five, seven. These are national title winning cheerleaders from Bristol, proudly bearing their pendants, silver for the tornadoes, gold for the hurricanes. You've done so well, that looks so tiring. Why don't you take a little bit of a break, move on to your next move for us, while we come and have a chat with uh, some of your number, like for example, 14 year old uh, Isla. It looks really tiring, that Isla, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> what do you like about cheerleading so much? Um, I love doing a sport with all my friends, um, and it really brings out the confidence in me. So. It's a lot of teamwork to it as well, isn't there? If you're yeah. throwing people around, as you have been doing. Yeah, it is. Um, we all work together, and um, it all comes together nicely. So. What was it like winning girl? What was, what was that moment like when you found out you were the champions? Um, it was amazing. It was really, really exciting. I was really, really proud of the team. Well, it, what's more amazing is that you only started doing this back in October, so you've not had long to rehearse. Uh, Twelve-year-old Lucas, you're a boy. Everyone else is, is a girl. What's that like? Well, to be honest, it's quite incredible to be included by everyone here and not be treated differently at all. And what a lot of people think, actually, is cheerleading is just maybe cheering on another sport, but actually it's a sport on its own, and it's just incredible to see what we can do. And it's all been coordinated and choreographed by your PE teacher, Emily Pinesmith. Emily, how proud are you today? Oh, I couldn't be prouder of them. All that hard work and determination since October has really paid off. And I think going forward now into June, we've, we've made the right steps ready to compete again for our national championships in future year. I love it. The ambition goes on. Where are the pom-poms, though? Oh, no. Pom-poms is just a dance division. Not here yet, but only in varsity cheer. So you never know. Maybe one day at our basketball games, we could have pom-poms, but not when it comes to the competition floor. And a growing sport come over from America to this country. It sure did, but it's definitely grown here in the UK, and the UK is definitely ones to look out for in the Florida championships. Congratulations on your big success. Can we have a final flourish, please, from the team? Five, six, seven, eight, Star Angels! Now, Bristol is fast becoming the city to beat when it comes to cheerleading. Two teams from Bristol Metropolitan Academy, which were only formed last October, blazed a trail at the national finals in Birmingham last weekend. Robin Markwell's been to meet the Hurricanes, who came back national champions. Meet the cheerleaders with plenty to cheer about. After a flawless performance in Birmingham at the weekend, these students from the Bristol Metropolitan Academy are officially the best in Britain. Uh, absolutely amazing. They've worked so hard tirelessly for the whole year since October, and I think going forward into future year, which is the biggest one in Europe, that we've got coming up that's going to be a really good stepping stone for a lot of our younger years especially because they've never done cheer before so having that as their first competition and winning it with a hit zero mark as well which means that we've had no deductions is the best result we could have come out with so that that national championship title means nowhere near as much as that hitting zero so yeah it's brilliant Seven, one, three. for the students it's all still sinking in i really like working as a team um and it's like you get to redo the same routine more than once, so if you like mess up, you could always have another shot at it, and nobody ever puts you down. It's just like, I don't know, it's like a really big one, big family. One, three, and among all the girls, 12-year-old Lucas. He's proud to be the only boy in the Hurricanes team. Well, to be honest, it's quite incredible to be included by everyone here and not be treated differently at all. And what a lot of people think actually is cheerleading is just maybe cheering on another sport but actually it's a sport on its own and it's just incredible to see what we can do so cheerleading is a sport in its own right and if you are wondering where the pom-poms are cheerleading is done differently this side of the pond I'd say in this country it's definitely developing and getting a lot bigger. So obviously it's big in America and everyone knows it as their pom-poms, but in the UK, like, pom is an actual dance division, not through cheerleading itself. So cheer in the UK is definitely getting bigger. There's little time to rest on their laurels, as these cheerleading champions from Bristol must now prepare for the European Championships. Robin Markwell, BBC Points West. Five, 